My name is Patrick Hackney and I'm a Senior Technical Marketing Manager here at Zuka. Today we're going to take a look at our new EPDM Bill of Materials module. This new functionality allows us to fully integrate our Bill of Materials from E3 series and Wireworks designs with the EPDM items tree. Because an E3 project can contain many parts and only one file exists on the file system, it's important that we're able to read the contents of our projects and link these parts to our items created in EPDM. With many of our customers, project structuring plays a very important role and the ability to split our designs into certain sections is critical. And being able to generate a sub-bill of materials is also crucial. Here we see the tool has recognised there are two subsections to this project, Rig A and Rig B. The assembly section dialog allows us to link our E3 sections with items in the EPDM interface. And here we can just select the specific item and that sets up the link between the two sections. Once we've selected those items, we can then choose by selecting the tick box which ones we're going to transfer to the bill of materials. And then we can simply hit create to finish that section. The next screen now presents us with the bill of materials. Each subsection is shown along with all the relevant attribute information and quantities. This visual allows us to check the contents before we finally create the bill of materials. Once transferred, we can take a look inside the Items Explorer. And here we see underneath the main project, we have the sub rig projects. And underneath these two sub projects, we can see the sub bill of materials. Using standard EPDM functionality, we can generate our own custom item bombs and here we see the detail contained within the E3 projects. Our customers tell us that a crucial aspect of any documentation system is the ability to handle deltas or changes. E3 has its own specific change management utility, but here in the link to EPDM, we can also handle bomb deltas. So any changes to our projects which affect the bomb can be tracked. And here we see the changes highlighted in blue and with an M for modify shown up in the final link dialog ready for transfer to the EPDM system. The transfer automatically creates a new version of the bill of materials. And here we see the new version including all of the changes. To find out more about the Bill of Materials link between E3 and SolidWorks EPDM, either contact your SolidWorks reseller or visit zookan.com.